All right, Beaver Nation, we are back. I have Sebi here, pop-off champion, Champlain <laughs> superstar. Sebi, number one, congratulations on your win, man. Thank you. Uh, I want to ask you a few questions here. The map pool, the past few weeks, as I've been casting you guys, you, have, you guys have been so dominant on Fracture. What goes into preparing for this map, and why has Fracture been such a dominant pick for you guys? What, what preparation? Yeah, so we go into a lot with our maps. We've definitely gone back and forth with Fracture a few times. Like last season, we really struggled with the map. So we had a lot of practice on it, but not a lot of like results on yeah. the map. So we have some of those instincts that are kind of built in there, and then we kind of just redid how we want to do it. We moved around some players, some different positions, and overall, we're just feeling a lot more comfortable with the map. I mean, I think most people have kind of forgotten about the map and don't really care about it as much. You know, they're more worried about Pearl and, you know, mastering the maps they know. Whereas yeah. Fracture, I feel like, is this forgotten pick that we're really able to use against other people. Yeah, you talk about moving roles around, how that helped you. I, I know that you have changed roles recently, right? And yeah. how has that uh, how has that felt for you, changing roles this semester? So it's been pretty good. I've moved to roles a few times um, in this team, and I've played Smokes for an entire season, so I felt very comfortable with that. And I knew that... Um, especially um, Brandon really wanted to have a rifle in his hands, and <laughs> I was so cool with that. I was like, you know what, you do your thing, bro. So I was like, I'll just take the smokes. I can control the game better. I can tell people where they should be doing, what they shouldn't be doing. I can just kind of sit up there yeah. and do my thing while everyone else goes around and fights people. So I, I think it's just a better role for the IGL, too. It was, it's yeah. definitely really tough to be a duelist and IGL at the same time because you really just need 20 seconds of silence where you just get to play the game. Yeah. And it's really hard. You don't want to be quiet as an yeah, IGL, you need right? Time to yeah, zone in. So. I want to talk a little bit about OG. So yeah. I know he's been a coach. He's been a, he's a player right now. And he's slotting him in at the start of the semester. How has that felt for the team? Has that changed the dynamic of the team at all? What's so we played on? with him for a few seasons now. So it definitely people, most of these t players are aware of how to play with him and how, how he works in a team environment. Um, he was definitely taking some time to just like you know, see how he felt about the game and, and so forth. And so he was more so of our coach and a bit of an analyst role. Um, and now he's transitioned into playing for the CVAL, obviously, because of his performance. And, I mean, it works pretty well. It is nice, I will say, to have someone who constantly analyzes how we play in the, the mindset. It's almost like having a second IGL because I know that, like, his calls are come from a place where he's watched us play. He knows how we work, so he can kind of make decisions based on that. Um, so it is really helpful to have that mindset in um, play, and obviously, you know, he's a pretty good shot. So <laughs> yeah, does pretty... he carry over that coaching dynamic to as a player? Or does he try? And... Um, sometimes, although obviously we we've had a conversation. You know, obviously I'm the IGL; it's my call, right? Yeah. So at the end of the day, he listens to me. But at the same time, he still is really good about giving. Um, you know, ideas to me and making calls, and I'm able to process that and be like, okay, was that the move? And I make the final call, but it's still helpful to have him, yeah, yeah, kind of helping call some shots. So, Sebi, last question MVP of the match, who would you give it to? <laughs> so, I mean, honestly, Joey's popping off. He told me at the end of the game, I think he had 50 kills between two maps, so yeah. he definitely did really well. Um, I was really proud of everyone that came out today, I'll be honest. I really think we all really put it out there. I didn't see anyone lacking, you know, everyone's doing really well. Me, up until the very end, me and Grady were playing really well. Josh, Brandon, everyone. I mean, Joey hit the hardest for sure today, so yeah. I think we'll give it to him. But um, I think everyone did great today. I was really happy with the results. That's good to hear, man. Yeah. All right, Beaver Nation. I've been Rig Pig. This has been Sebi, Champlain Superstar. I want to thank you in for tuning in on this busy Wednesday uh, eSports day. Uh, and we'll see you all with the next stream. Peace out, Beaver Nation. Right. Thanks for watching. Thanks.